John, who's this man? Can you tell me what this boy's name is? Terrence. Terrence? It's Terrence's last name. A A Alan. Alan? No. What does Terrence do? Terrence is an artist. He's an artist? He's, he uses oil? oil paintings. Oil paintings? Does Jonathan do oil paintings? Yep. Jonathan was very different uh, than other children from very early on. He was in his own world. He didn't point to things the way normal kids do to want to understand his world. You had to go in and pull him out. Look at me. Look at me. Ready? Jonathan, you need to look at me. Ready? Give me the truck. We went from doctor to doctor, and finally we, we met a neuropsychiatrist. And then that was the first time we heard the word autism used in relationship to Jonathan. Everything just caved in all at once when he gave us that diagnosis. Because you have all these dreams for your child and, and aspirations and hopes when they're born. And it was all dashed in an instant. The first time I noticed that Jonathan had a talent in drawing was about when he was nine years old and he began doing these pen and ink doodling. But it wasn't until my father died that the actual talent burst onto the page with charcoal style drawings that were incredibly expressive. Oh, this one, this one, oh wow, this one I haven't seen. Is he upset or is he happy, this one? I think what attracts Jonathan are faces and emotion, which is so unusual for autistic people. When you see him, you don't think he's capable of that level of depth of thought, but you see that he thinks on, on such a, um, a complex level through his pictures. He's going to pitch, you ready? People does now, Donna, right. without it. Not everybody needs a uniform. Without right. it. Without it, that's right. Jonathan has become much more social as he's gotten older. Some people are very lovely and very willing to disclose information. Others feel leery of him, don't understand why he's asking where they live, and you know immediately show their disdain for him. All right, Trevor. Hey, let me see your teeth. Let me see the front of the teeth. There, I don't have any teeth. Let me They're see. All gone. I got bottom teeth, but I don't have any top teeth. What's your metal band? I don't have my metal band. I don't have one. What is your favorite metal band? Oh my! Uh, I like the Beatles. Are you black? Yes, I am. Do you like R and B? Yes, I do like R and B. Are you gonna do some work for us tonight? Artwork? Yes. Are you awesome. black? Yes, I am. I am. Nice to meet you. Do you cook soul food? I do sometimes. I do. It's good. Good stuff. That's the wonderful thing about autism, you know. They are just authentic. They are so authentic. And, and you know, here we are, you know, we learn the social norms and we're so rigid about how we're supposed to be, and he's just out there. Yes. I don't please. What? I can't do it again. Yeah, you can. You want to do it again? Please, I All can't right. do it again. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's boring. You want to do it again? Yes. All right. Try. Here's your hat, buddy. No, no. You're look. He's he's going to bite you. God. Stop. 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 All right. You know uh, what? You, you want to play baseball? Yeah, I want Georgie back. All right. After speech, you can get Georgie after speech. I want Georgie back. John. You can see Georgie after speech. I want Georgie back. Come on, should we start speech? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. There's a paper for you. I want Georgie back. Um, I have an autistic boy with me, 
and your, one of your managers told his mom that you guys would make a beef cheesy gordita crunch for him. Okay, I have 472, 472. Don't run away. Make sure I did it right. Can I have a Mountain Dew? Oh, <laughs> okay. It's the chicken. Wait, wait a second. I need the beef cheesy gordita crunch. Right, right. Okay, just a second. Just I'm okay. sorry. And this is chicken and it was supposed to be beef. Oh. I'm sorry. I want the beef cheesy gordita crunch, please. Yep, they're gonna do it for you. I want the beef. Rub your eyes, honey. And eyes. Take a deep breath and say, I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing. Should I fix it? Yeah. Can you try to lay down? Jonathan, lay back on the pillow. Of course, with my friends. Uh huh. We will. His mother believes that he has a uh, seizure disorder. I'm not so certain that that exists. And I think he has more of a behavioral uh, problems. I think he senses isolation. I believe he senses. Um, frustration and not being able to connect the way he would like to with the outside world uh, and when he can't express it he acts out you need to apologize because I can't go far away because I can't because I can't Six, one, four, nine. All right, who's the man? I do. All right. Jonathan has this remarkable potential, and he's easy to teach because he's relentless. Oh God, he will enjoy. not stop. And someone would say, well, what are you bothering for? He, he's so, he's so uh, you know, handicapped, and he's, learning is an exercise for his mind. And I, I don't know and nobody knows whether or not this will eventually break down some of these autistic walls and bring him more a sense of normalcy and allow his, his, very, his very strong intellectual power to emerge. Two plus five equals seven. All right. Who's the best mathematician? Who's the Yeah. Jonathan Lerman and? Albert Einstein. Right. Go ahead. I want to welcome everybody to the Chris Theater. This is our 20th annual. I'm sorry. That's okay. As a parent, my fantasy is someday because he, he's so intent on being normal and he's practicing and he's memorizing and, he, and his language is improving he, he would wake up someday through some miracle and, and, and come over to me and say dad I'm not autistic anymore <sighs> and he would say All those, <clears throat> all those times you were trying to understand me and you didn't understand this is what I was trying to say to you. So that's a parent's fantasy. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> one would never know if we would ever <clears throat> have that conversation someday. <clears throat>